Help us to continue making great content by purchasing merchandise. Link in the description. What up, though? This VC Beats. Bye. Imani from the far side. Slim Kid Trey from the far side. Fat Lip. Imani from the far side. 50.com. <laughs> Imani from the far side. <laughs> Yo, what's up? This is Fat Lip from the far side. Shit, we just chilling right now in the D, Detroit, you know what I'm saying, rocking with Keep Rock. We out here showing love in Detroit, you know what I'm saying, this is 50. Hey. Yo, it's Violent Content, we live from the Russell Industrial Complex in Detroit, Michigan. Shout out Fat Left from Far Side, shout out Rose Spit. Shout out Pete Rock. This is 50.com VC Beats. We're making it happen. Violent content. Yo, this is VC Beats live with this is 50.com. Kicking it with the far side. We got my man's fat lip. We got Imani. And we got Trey. Some kid Trace. We in the building live from the Russell in Detroit, Michigan. Let's get it. I watched your documentary, What's Up Fat Lip, man, and I was really touched by it, man. I really appreciate your honesty and vulnerability. Um, the question that I have for you, um, you mentioned uh, that you would sometimes have to ride the bus and people would see you and be like, dang, Fat Lip on MTV, they winning awards, they're going platinum, what are you doing riding the bus? Fast forward 20 years later, Y'all back getting a million dollars a show, Rock Your Bells, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that, bro, I like yeah. that. I, so for, I appreciate um, that. I'm a recording artist myself, man, so for any artist who find themselves in that position, like, dang, I had all them opportunities, how did I end up back on my mom's couch? You know what I'm saying? What advice would you offer to them? Treat, <clears throat> treat your art like a job. You have to manage yourself, and that's the hardest part because this shit is fun it's like a dream come true so much amazing things happen it's a social based occupation it's party 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 that's what you you're getting paid to perform and all of these things but you have to be able to manage yourself your time your energy your health and of course your wealth I was doing none of those because I was young and I was having fun. And then it, it you know, you, you, uh, it catches up to you, but, but, you know, and it's a live and learn type of thing. So I would just say, take it serious. When I see, I don't compare myself to other people, but I learn when I watch other people. I'll say for somebody like, you know, any, any empire, I mean, you could say Wu-Tang, you could say Nas, anybody that like kind of, or, or be real, I seen be real, just really be studious about his, his business. I think I seen be real do his taxes one time backstage. <laughs> I'm just saying like on, on a laptop, you know what I'm saying? Just like handle business. And I never associated those two things, but I do now. I guess uh, the next question I could ask, because uh, I've been through a lot of, you know what I'm saying, uh, different setbacks and hindrances and lost re relationships I value just due to business uh, not being fair, I would say. So what was one of the toughest uh, business situations that you find your, you guys found yourself in and how did y'all navigate out of that? Or, or what would you like to see change in the music industry where the artists would be treated more fairly? I mean, that's a tough one. Uh, artists, I mean, because, you know, the industry was here before we got in it. You know, it's, 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 it's the nature of the beast is what they say, you know. And it's almost one of those things where when you know what you're getting in, I think when you know what you're getting into, I mean, it goes back to what I was saying about being educated about what you're involved in. I mean, I think we're talking now about contracts. 
because if we're talking about business, every business agreement is solidified by a contract. And so when you know what the contract says, you're in a way better position, you know. So it's, it's, it go, I, and I think it goes back to managing your time. There's a time to be a nerd and study the law. There's a time to wild out and, you know, do whatever you have to do to, to be your cre- get in your creative zone as well. So it's it's just a balance, you know, um, but yeah, man, it's a business. It's a it's a it's a business. So, uh, Amani, man, this, this what I I feel like I want to ask this. You know what I mean? I don't know if this have any correlation. Y'all was one of my favorite groups, you know, going up, and y'all created a lot of favorite my favorite songs. I always say music is the soundtrack of our lives, and I always put y'all in my playlist, man. So, um, there's another group. You know, y'all all have your own uniqueness, but there's another group that I really love that I would put in the mix with y'all songs, and that's Souls of Mischief. Have y'all ever met them, and has there ever been any talks of collaborations or anything? Because I feel like y'all both unique, but y'all got that vibe, man, that real hip-hop vibe. Yeah, we ever met them? Yeah. Yeah, we met them, like, um, when we was coming up, before we both got signed. We known them before they got signed. Uh, they had our demo tape. We had their demo tape. I, I mean, I call them my brothers, like Opio and A Plus and Festo and Tajay, and like even like, shit, Casual, Dell, you know, Lex, like the whole Hyro. That's, that's family right there. So we worked in a studio together. We did. We like, like Opio's always in the studio with me. I'm always like working out with you. Not Pep Love. I mean, like that's fam. So it's just like, yeah, we they the they from the Bay. We from L A. The Bay got a whole thing going on. We got a thing in L A. But we've we've nurtured relationships over the years with them with them brothers, and that's this 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 uh, business is about nurturing relationships. You feel me? Networking. You mean building relationships? That's what I learned. You feel me? And you don't do nothing by yourself, no matter how you know. Talent can take you so far, but it's just not about talent. Like he was saying, it's like it's a business, and it's about other people helping you, and you can't do anything by yourself. And realizing, you know, what I mean, what your limitations are. And, Knowing how to hire the right people, knowing what to look for, so you can hire the right people, because you need to hire people to do certain things. That's what I, that's what I've learned. Okay, and then uh, I guess one, one one last question for you, and then we will pass it to Slim Kid Trey. Like, um, we in Detroit, you know, it, it's only right that I mention the late great Jay Diller. Nope. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one of the most, unarguably, one of the top five hip hop songs of all time, running. What was that like, you know, uh, collaborating with Jay Dilla? Like, what, what was your fond memories of that whole process? Man, being in New York and uh, thinking that we was going to get somebody with a big name that, that was popular and famous and finding somebody that nobody, ne- getting connected to somebody that nobody like, didn't know nothing about and him starting a whole wave and us being a part of that wave, that's what I remember. It's just like, and it felt like that when he was in the studio with him. It felt like something was happening. You feel me? But shout to the D, man. Uh, Big Tone. I got some homies out here. Tarak, you know what I mean? T3, Slum Village, you know how it is. And it's a lot of people out here. Like, a lot of we were talking in the van. A lot of people come from Detroit. A lot of people don't know, like, Detroit's like a, a hotbed of, you know what I mean? Producers and dancers and, and rappers and singers and shit. So much love from Imani to the D. I reciprocated. Love y'all. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so one of my favorite music videos, man. I ain't just saying this because y'all are here, right. but drop. And, and I like that music video because it wasn't like CGI and computer generated yeah. effects. It was all yeah, brain all and creativity, yeah, man. Sure. So uh, I, I watched the uh, interview with the director, it's and he like said it was so much. <laughs> yeah, it is. <Eddie. laughs> it was so much that went into it. You know what I'm saying? So what was that creative process like? Oh, man. I think as soon as Spike told us, He's like, hey, I want to do. He's like, I want to do a. I want to do one a video for you guys, but I only want. I only want to do the song drop, you know, because he's with the Beastie Boys and stuff like that, and he had ties with the Beastie Boys, and he's like, I can get you know get them in the video and the whole deal. And we're like, oh hell yeah, we're we're huge fans of Beastie Boys, you know, and he's and he was like, you know, but I wanna I wanna film it. Um, I wanna practice everything in reverse. And then we flip the, you know, 
flip it all around so it make everything look like it's going backwards. So he's like, I want everything to be backwards. We learn the words backwards. He had a linguist come in and like, you know, script out everything, how it would sound backwards. So he was, he did the most studying, the linguist really just like kind of uh, listening, to the, listening to the stuff backwards and then writing that shit out and then teaching it to us. And so we, what we had to do was learn, we had, we had it, uh, we listened to it at regular speed and then we had another version, uh, a couple of versions at double speed and triple speed in reverse. So we were learning that, like this, the only thing that we would listen to was that. We'd be on the train listening to that, on the plane listening to that. Everywhere just like, like well trying our best, to, yeah, 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 trying to like, kind of like really trying to make it, so it was like another language. So it's like we're trying to, it's like kind of trying to learn Spanish or trying to learn French or something. You know, so we did that. I feel like we needed one more day and that shit would have been seamless. You know what I mean? But what, like what the people see, you know, what they see is what they see. But we wanted that shit to be seamless because that's, that's the type of niggas we are. You know what I'm saying? Like we really perfectionists and you know we focus when we when we when we're dialed in and when we dive in it's a wrap we don't want to talk to nobody we you know we don't want to see nobody we just focus on on what we need to be doing and, and what we what sound we're making what videos we're making you know what i mean we really dive in and take this whole shit serious so it was we were up for the challenge he's like i knew that you you were the group to be able to do this shit so then we start talking about now what can we what would be dope to you know to see going in reverse and we're like, what about the, you know, like I'm painting a painting or, you know, like uh, I was the dog walking the dog kind of deal. And we, like, we were like kind of sliding, uh, we were sliding up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I So we, 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 had, we had other shots where it was, it was more that you saw, like there was like bouncing balls going down the stairs, like a lot of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and then we were going, like when the bouncing balls was going down the stairs, we were, well, when we were going, ah, I, I that was you fucking, in the suit, right? in the yeah, that was me. It was, it was a dog suit, y'all. It was a dog suit, okay? <laughs> yeah, man. Wasn't a bear suit. I wasn't in the bears. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but but that, it was good. That, that video is so, that video is so yeah. dope to me, man. I really love it, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thirty years, man. I'm I'm only thirty four. So. <laughs> Yeah, I had a mentor named DJ Sin who introduced me to hip hop, man, and he was one of the first people. Uh, Y'all was one of the first people that he intro uh, introduced me to, man, and I fell in love with it instantly. Yeah. So, with thirty years, man, what would you want Far Side to be remembered by in your legacy? Um, I want. I, I feel like I want people to feel the 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 happy energy and the joy and the timelessness of what we were, what we we're creating and and how we create. We want to make shit that's timeless, bro. Like you can we can play it anytime, anywhere and it just feel like it's brand new. You know what I mean? So that's one thing and another thing is like, you know, for for us that are here, you know, this 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 magical thing happened to us. You know what I mean? I want people to understand that when when your thing happens to you, please take it seriously. Please give it every ounce of juice, energy that you can to it because it, it provides for you. And you just gotta trust that. And what we're experiencing currently is the energy of the far side. And, I, and I, we look at it like, it, like, this, like this is a, like a goddess that's watching over us all the time and she takes care of us all the time. She pulls us back together. She pushed us apart to, to grow up and learn how to be men and learn different things and then bring us back together. Oh, and she took care of each one of us as we were separated. It's such a crazy thing. And we have like our, our like special number that we know that the energy of the far side is around us and working with us. And it shows up every time, she shows up every time. And all we do, when she, when she calls, we answer. And that's what we're doing right now. We are answering the call of what she wants us to do and you know, a lot of good energy, a lot of new music, a lot of, a lot of magic. Man, this is a beautiful thing. And the point is, when you find your, sh your magic, your spark, throw that gasoline on it. Yeah. 
keep on, you know what I mean? And just like, but really be real about it, you know what I mean? Because like, look at all the amazing things we have if you look around. We got the light bulb, you know what I mean? We got, we got the electric car. We got so many things that somebody somewhere was just in silence, in a, in a quiet state. And this idea walked across their soul. And now you got the hanger, or you got the, 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 the tire, the wheel. Or you got, you know, anything, whatever your shit is. And that's what we are. We, wa we, we found our thing. And we are, we're, on we're, we're honoring our thing. You know what I mean? And I want to touch on one thing because you asked, <clears throat> you know, when, you were, when, when, when Fat Loop was talking about contracts and stuff like that. And, I, you know, for all the, the people out there, don't forget a contract is negotiable. It's not something that you got to sit there and fucking accept. You know what I mean? You can negotiate. And if they don't, if it, if it doesn't feel like, if it doesn't feel right and if it doesn't feel like home, then I, I think it's okay to walk away from it and having trust and faith in your own talent. Because, like, why are you there in the first place with somebody presenting a fucking contract to you? Because you must have something amazing. And people don't know that. Sometimes you feel like you'll never get this kind of opportunity ever again. You won't get it ever again if you give up. But if you if you really like fine tune fine tune your craft, I mean it's there. It's 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 one it's it's like one thing out of many showing itself to you that you're on the right path, and that's how the far side goddess works with us. Mm. Yeah, man, I really yeah I really appreciate you passing that wisdom down to the inspiring artists. You know what I'm saying? Who might not know how to navigate this game, man. So. Thanks a lot, man, for your time, man. Really pre appreciate you, man. It's VC Beast. This is 50. Bizarre, ride, bizarre interview with the far side. <laughs> <laughs>